controversy surrounding a crematory and funeral home has several Warner Robin, Robins residents fired up tonight. A group from the Rose Hill subdivision doesn't want the smell of burning bodies in their backyard. 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams has more on this story. When Charlie Tool steps into his backyard, this is what he sees. Construction on the future site of a funeral home. The longtime Rose Hill resident lives off of Highway 41, just feet away from where the Burpee Scott Memorial Chapel will be located. But it's not the chapel that bothers the homeowner. It's the crematory. He worries about the property values and the possibility of pollution. My concerns are, first of all, the environmental, the health factors. Uh, when bodies are burned, toxins are given off, the, uh, the most dangerous of which is mercury. Tool feels this is all just too close for comfort, and the law clearly states that crematories must be at least a thousand feet from a residential subdivision. However, that only applies to standalone crematories. And since this facility will be a full service funeral home, the builders are exempt. This means homeowners like Tool can't halt Tim Burpee's construction. The property is, is zone C2. We checked into every bit of that. We went to the Secretary of State's office, talked to them about every bit of the regulations that are there. We were approved by the city, and we're just trying to do the very best we can. With his petition at hand, Tool is doing the best he can to keep the funeral home and possible fumes out of his backyard. In Warner Robins, Jasmine Williams, 41 NBC News. Tool formally presented his complaint to Warner Robins City Council tonight, hoping the city will step in. Mayor Chuck Shaheen tells us he'll hold a meeting with the city attorney and residents to discuss the crematory and current laws. If all goes as planned for Burpee, He's hoping construction on the funeral home will be complete in spring 2014.